hello and welcome to another bike and another restoration. This is a Peugeot 531 competition. It was donated by a viewer called Patrick, shared some very nice memories on email to me and it is in need of some very deep cleaning. So I am going to keep this very brief because we've got a lot of work to do. If you're not a subscriber and you're into your vintage retro road bikes then please click on subscribe it's completely free of charge other than that then why not visit our website at bikeituk.club and on there you'll find lots of vintage retro road bike brochures hints tips and also some cycling clothing and mitts to go with the kits so yes this Peugeot bike it is in need of some very deep cleaning and some special loving so let's delve in let's start off at the back end here We've got a lovely Draliots, matching Draliots, all original this bike, apart from a couple of items which I'll get onto in a minute. But yes, the Draliot, that needs a lot of work doing, a lot of rust down there, and it's definitely going to need a new chain. Onto the crank, that's original, and the pedals, I've seen better days. The forks, lovely chrome dropouts. So yes, it's a lovely bike, this indeed, and it's got some lovely simplex gear levers, and uh, obviously the 531 badge there, very nice indeed. The Brake calipers and levers are Modolo, very nice indeed. So I am going to be taking these off. I'm going to be keeping them using from a different project. And we've got a lovely cat eye computer there on the top. Some great fenders, we're going to take them off. But what Patrick also did, he not only sent the original receipt here, which I have, 1982 it was, and it was uh, Stan Jones where he bought it from, and it was sold for £190. Um, we do actually have the original calipers, so we're going to put them on as well. It's got the original seat, however, that's got a tear in it, and I do have a saddle in mind. It's got a lot of rust though, um, original pump. So yes, I have got high expectations of this one, because I say it needs a lot of cleaning, so I think it's going to be a big turnaround, so hang around for that. But what are we waiting for? Let's get a move on, crack on, and get this bike stripped down. Well, there's the bike all stripped down. I actually thought it would be a nightmare with all this rust and seized parts. To be honest, the bike came apart beautifully. And if you watch these videos, you'll know the drill. We've got a bucket just down here with all the parts in. As you take things off, put them back on again. There's a lot of cleaning, more restoring to be honest with you. But what we're going to do now, we're going to degrease the parts. We're going to clean the frame down. There is quite a lot of rust on there. So we're going to use a T-cut, see where we're at, and we'll make some decisions from there. So let's get a move on with that. Quick update, where are we up to? Well, the frame is all ready to go and looks so much better than when it first came in. It was 
full of rust. What have we done? Well, we started the process off as we generally do with a T-cut solution, which gets rid of any surface rust and also blemishes in the paintwork itself in regards to scratches. It's used in the car industry, and then we've used a corrust solution to treat any rusted areas. We've then touched up with enamel paint and finished the process off by spraying an enamel varnish over the frame to protect it. So that is all ready to go. If you are interested in watching the video in more detail in regards to how we treat and deal with these frames, then there is a video available for you to watch in more detail. The group set, well, that's all on the side there. It's been degreased and it's all ready for polishing. Should come up really well, that. And we've got the wheel set in the back there with the Michelin Dynamic Classic Gunwall tires on. We use them a lot and they look great. So yeah, frame's done, the wheel set's done, we've got some handlebars to wrap, and I've also recycled a saddle that we took off the rally race, the 653 race that we did. Uh, so I've got that here, and I feel as though that will really complement this bike. So it's just nice to recycle a bit of kit that we actually took off the other build. So yes, loads to be getting on with, so what are we waiting for? Let's get a move on and start polishing some parts. Well, we are finally here, which is the rebuild. And if you watch these videos, you'll know that this is my favorite part of the restoration, where you see all your hard work come together. We've got the group set on the side there. It is absolutely beautiful. It is so shiny. If you are interested in how to polished metal up or group set up, we do have a dedicated video available to watch. It's just available just up there. And that goes into more detail in regards to polishing metal. The frame, that's all ready to go. The group set's all ready. So what are we waiting for? Let's crack on and get this bike built back together. Wow, well, what a transformation. Compared to when the bike first came in, it was full of rust. It's nearly 40 years old, this bike, and I'm sure Patrick, who was the original owner, would be very impressed indeed. I can't believe how well this bike has turned out. It really does well. The colour scheme is fantastic, really works well. We finished these builds off with a water bottle. I do have one just down here, very in keeping indeed. It's a Peugeot. Very retro indeed, so let's pop it in, have a look. Brilliant. Well, all that's left to do now is get this bike out and try it out. Well, this has been the vintage Peugeot 531 competition. And what a beautiful, elegant bike, not only to ride, but also to look at. The color scheme is fantastic on this bike. Looks absolutely amazing. I'm really happy that we've done it on such a minimal price. Such a positive thing to do in these crazy times. So why not get stuck in, click on subscribe, or visit our website at bikeituk.club and on there you'll find lots of historic vintage road bike brochures to help you in your own restorations, some vintage 
cycling kits and also some mitts to go with the kits. Other than that, then thanks for watching and bye for now.